I remember when I was working on the giveaway truck and everything was going smooth and that one f up just ruins your day. Um, and I just need a little wealth. It's gonna just cost you a little bit of money. You're gonna have to drill it. Ask me why. Why? Why do you have to drill it? All that walls, wall is all full of oil. Oil. Um, I wasn't even putting too much force into it. Oil pan broke. Don't know a limit, chasing a dream. I don't know what sleepers. I got a queen. She lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the bitch. Yeah, And so today we're going to be working on the 6.0 and by working on it, we're just going to be putting on the oil pan and the oil pan gasket. We have to paint the frame black. I'm still waiting for that. So for the meantime, we're just trying to, I'm just trying to get the motor and the transmission prepared so we can put it on and uh, put the harness. And yeah, let's just see where it goes from that point on. Don't laugh at me. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a 6.0 right here. So the reason why I am changing the oil pan gasket, because this one already has it, I accidentally broke the oil pan and the oil pan gasket right here because while I was trying to tighten it up, I had it on the engine hoist. So I was actually like down here and just like trying to get it, you know, just screwing it from like this way while the motor was suspended in the air moving which was a stupid idea but I was in a tight space so what we're gonna do is flip the motor upside down to put the oil pan in the oil pan gasket then put the intake manifold and uh, yeah that's pretty much what I think we're gonna be doing today we got the toolbox we got the gloves and here we go pan gasket and we got the oil pan so I'm gonna continue cleaning this up it just has the dust and everything but I gotta like wipe it down I had didn't clean this little pan right here we're gonna continue cleaning it man it feels like a good day sun ain't even out it feels great All right guys, we found a problem. So as I was getting ready to take this little pan off or whatever the shield, as I was ready to take this thing off um, to clean it, right? I discovered that there's a little hole right down there. So I'm not gonna make a big fuss about it, but I'm gonna take it to uh, JR over there at Project Torque and uh, see if he can fix it because this is aluminum and I don't have a welder. So we're gonna go over there, clean it just a little bit too and uh, See if he can help out because, you know, he has his equipment. Uh, I just really wanted to put this on the motor already, but I guess it is what it is. We just have to figure it out, get it done. We just have to keep moving forward and being positive. I'm not going to let that little asshole stop my progress. Here we go. Looks like JR brought his uh, Hellboy car. You know, talk to him, tell him real quick if he can help out. What's up, Keith? What's up, dude? Vargas. Hola, hola. Where are you? I need your help. I have a little, literally a little, little hole on my oil pan that I got right now behind the truck. And it's uh, aluminum and I just need a little weld. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can do it. Okay. okay. Leave it. Come back tomorrow. No, no, I need it right now. Ah, uh, get away. Because I need to put it on the motor already. I've been literally like waiting so long. Then it's not gonna I just need a little bit more than a little bit. I just money. need like literally it's a little dot. Alright guys, we are going to keep moving it forward with the oil pan gasket. I mean I'm sorry, oil pan, I'm tripping. Oh we gotta clean it too. I really wanna post daily vlogs till my birthday. My birthday is not this weekend, next weekend on June 4th. That little hole right there, I don't know if you guys can see it. You see it? Yeah, you can see it. A buddy of mine gave it to me, but it came with the hole. 
this one, this one, this one. Just to clean the dust off the oil pan. Alright guys, so we ran into a new problem. Before I was actually going to clean it, the reason why I'm not using brake cleaner as much is because it evaporates quick and I was going to use a scotch Sprite. I was going to do all that because we can't find the other one that I was using yes that I was using yesterday that looked just like this. It was like a little wire brush. What do we call it? Like a wire wire wheel. If you know what this thing is called, let me know in the comments below. Because I don't really use it, so I really don't know the name. So we're going to go to the welding supply so we can get a new one. This is what I was using yesterday, but the hairs are all gone. And just to clean the oil pan a little bit more better. Because it really did work a lot yesterday. So we're going to go over there right now. <sighs> There's always setbacks after setbacks, but the one thing about me is that I don't quit. I keep going, even when I do complain. This one's bigger, this one's smaller, this one's medium. It's called an end wire brush. Now I know. The gun, and it's working perfect. Oh yeah, it's gonna make the job much faster, much cleaner, and less of a hassle. So, yeah. guys we're done cleaning the oil pan and oil so now we are going to uh, let JR fix that little hole I think this is actually pretty cool even though I hate the hole that it's in the oil pan it gives you guys a little bit more content it gives the video a little bit more to watch because we get to record JR do his magic on how to fix this aluminum oil pan think you can do it Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, see, that's a collab. That's a collab right there. What? You're gonna have to drill it. Ask me why. Why? Why do you have to drill it? Because all that walls, la paredes, uh -huh. the wall is all full of oil, oil contamination, and all that. And aluminum is very, very picky. You have to be very, very clean. Okay. Well, you know what you're doing. Cause I seen you well titanium, you know what you're doing. I know for sure. So he's the local guy. So if you guys want anything to be welded, he does turbo kits too, right? You know that. He does everything. You know I'm just letting the audience know from your yeah. point of view, your your mouth, you know. Actually guys, don't forget to go visit my website, justracingfab.com. I have a lot of parts there. A lot, a lot of uh come see it. Selections? No. Fabrication parts. Fabrication parts. Blanches, piping, titanium, stainless. He does everything blanches. basically. And t shirts. T shirts. Yep. Be in the description yep. below. Yes sir. Yes sir. Alright guys. We're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop just because this little itty bitty hole is giving us problems. JR is gonna fix it. And I have confidence because I seen his work in action. I seen the product. Awesome. One day I would like to do a titanium exhaust on something. Not on little blue. Well, maybe. I don't know. Maybe when I put the turbo. I don't know. Stay tuned.
at that. Todavía no, falta. Todavía falta? Yeah. There's still more? Mm -hmm. What else is there to do? Hay que hacerle más. Que quede bien, bien, bien. aluminum and it's been running hot and cold and a lot of oil through the, it, it's it's full of contamination look you can even tell there you go because you can even see the porosity like a pinhole I'm not editing this out that's it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Alrighty then guys. So, if you guys need some work done, come to him. Sir, Simple sir. little details like this, or something big, whatever the case might be, this man got your back. Yes sir, yes sir. JR5. Have a credit card, uh, garage, or you can send me a message on my Instagram. I'll put his information down below. JR5 underscore BTX. On the description below. Alrighty then. Guess I'm gonna take it back, put it on, and hope for the best. Hopefully we don't run into more hiccups. Thank you JR, very much for your time. Let's go to exclusive collision to get it mounted on. All right guys, finally, we're gonna take this one out, the old one, and put the new one in. Look at that, all dirty. This one, this one's all dirty. All right guys, we're gonna be putting in the oil pan gasket. Well, looks like a tight fit, hell yeah. All right guys, we're gonna be taking off the old oil pan gasket and we're gonna be replacing it with the new one. Use this scotch bra to take off. The extra oil, old oil from the sides of the motor so I can put the gasket in it feels flush. Time to put the new oil pan gasket. I think I'm running into a problem here. It looks good, it looks like we're supposed to be, but those little things that go in, in the thing to hold the gasket in place. I don't know. All right guys, there it is. Now to put the new oil pan. New oil pan, new oil pan gasket. The welded thing is good. All right guys, something same happened to me again. I wasn't even putting too much force into it. So the oil pan broke. Same that happened to that one at the edge right here I'm not even I'm not even tying it like hard just enough like you can literally see there's a gap when I was tying it up like it still had a gap right here you guys can see it. it still had like a like a little bit of play right even like tying it up all the way like I already but here there was like a lot of play like it wasn't even flush so I gave it just a little bit more just a little bit like not even that hard and it snapped just like this one did on that corner as well I don't think that's fixable, so I guess I have to buy another. I guess I have to get another oil pan. 